OK, so we're going to solve this problem where we have a convex polygon with an even number of sides. And we want to show that it's always going to have at least one diagonal which isn't parallel to any of its sides. So for example, for this octagon here, the diagonal in blue isn't parallel to any of the sides, whereas these diagonals in red are parallel to one of the sides. So we want to show that there's always going to be at least one diagonal, like the blue one here, which is not parallel to any of the sides, as long as we have an even number of sides. Now if we had an odd number of sides, then actually any regular polygon, like this regular pentagon here, you can see that actually every diagonal is going to be parallel to one of the sides. So this result doesn't work if you have an odd number of sides. So to prove this when we've got an even number of sides, the idea is first of all we'll find how many diagonals are there in our polygon with two n sides. Then we'll try and find an upper bound for the number of diagonals which could potentially be parallel to any of the sides. And we want to show that the number of diagonals which could be parallel to any of the sides is less than the total number of diagonals, which would mean then there must be some diagonals left over which aren't parallel to any of the sides. So let's start just by finding the total number of diagonals in our 2n-sided polygon. We can think about this, let's say, from the point of view of one of our vertices. So we've got a vertex here, and this vertex is going to form a diagonal with every other vertex in our polygon, the only exception being it won't form one with itself, and it won't form one with either of its neighbours, because these are edges rather than diagonals. So for every of the n or 2n vertices we've got here, it's going to form 2n minus 3 diagonals, because there are 2n minus 3 remaining vertices left over. The only issue with this calculation is, if we look at our pentagon here, from the point of view of this vertex at the top, this forms a diagonal with our vertex at the bottom right. But then from the point of view of the vertex at the bottom right, this forms the same diagonal there. So we actually end up double counting with this figure. So we just need to divide this by 2. So what we'll get when we work this out is that the total number of diagonals in our 2n-sided polygon is going to be 2n times 2n minus 3 divided by 2. So we get 2n squared minus 3n. So now we want to show that the total number of diagonals which can be parallel to any of the sides of our polygon is less than this number, which would mean there must be some diagonals left over which aren't parallel to any of the sides. So if we think about this now from the point of view of one of the edges, let's say we've got this edge here, then we can think about one of the other vertices not on this edge. Now this vertex because we've got a convex polygon, this can only form one diagonal which is going to be parallel to this side. Because if we were to include another vertex and form another diagonal, it would go off in a different direction and wouldn't be parallel. The reason we need our polygon to be convex for this argument is we could have potentially a situation like this, where you get two diagonals which are actually going in the same direction. But because our polygon is convex, if you include another vertex now, you'll get a different diagonal going in a different direction like this. So the point here is, for all of the... we take away these two, so we've got 2n minus 2 vertices. For each of these, they can only be involved in a maximum of one diagonal, which could be parallel to this side here. So for each of our 2n sides, we've got 2n minus 2 diagonals, which could potentially be parallel to that side. But once again, we've double counted everything. So if we're saying that this diagonal here is parallel to our original side, then we count it once for this vertex and we count it again for this vertex here. So once again, we just need to divide this whole figure by 2. So then when we expand the bracket and divide everything through by 2, we get 2n squared minus 2n. And this is actually, unfortunately, this is bigger than our figure of 2n squared minus 3n. So we've got an upper bound for the total number of diagonals, which could be parallel to any of the sides. But at the moment, our upper bound is too big. It's actually bigger than the total number of diagonals. So we need to work now on refining this upper bound to make it smaller than the total number of diagonals so that we can indeed prove this result and show that there must be some diagonals not parallel to any of the sides. So let's return to this picture where we consider things from the point of view of one of the edges. And if we actually assume, let's draw in an edge, and we'll say that all of the, it's 2n minus 2 other vertices, let's say that all of these are involved in a diagonal which is parallel to this edge. This gives us our upper bound from earlier. 
So if we have this many vertices which are involved in a diagonal which is parallel to our edge, then we just need to divide by 2 to avoid double counting them, and this gives us our previous upper bound of n minus 1 diagonals parallel to each edge. But if we actually draw in a picture, let's assume that every single other vertex has been involved in a diagonal parallel to our edge. So our picture might look something like this, where you've got lots of diagonals which are all parallel to our edge, but eventually there must be a diagonal which is the furthest away from this edge. And the idea here is we've used every single vertex to form all of these n minus 1 diagonals, but you can start to see there's a problem now because this final diagonal, which is the furthest away from our original edge, we've used up all of the vertices, and you can see this actually has to be an edge rather than a diagonal. So this actually reduces our upper bound then. Instead of having n minus 1 per edge, we can have a maximum of n minus 2 diagonals per edge. So for each of our 2n edges, we're going to have a maximum actually of n minus 2 diagonals, which can be parallel to that edge. So then if we expand this, we get an upper bound of 2n squared minus 4n diagonals, which can be parallel to any of the edges. You can see now this is actually less than our figure of 2n squared minus 3n diagonals, which are our total number. So we've shown then that the maximum number of diagonals which can be parallel to any of the sides is less than the total number of diagonals. So this means then there must be some diagonals which aren't parallel to any of the sides. Then we've proven this statement in the case where we've got a convex polygon with two end sides.